The aim of the visit was to assess and monitor progress on the 58 COVID-19 school projects currently underway in the region and which have achieved above 60% progress. Kanjode says despite the noted progress, the pace is not pleasing, especially when considering the urgent need for this infrastructure. We've come to see the progress. That progress is slow, but virtually things are happening. Literally, I, I, I mean, June 20th, around that time, we were here, in this very spot. And there was none of this. The wall behind me was not there. The trenches that I see were not there. So, yes, slow, yes. Ideally, things should have been done. We should have accommodated 128 learners in these new hostels and ablution facilities. That has not happened. But yeah, those are the lessons that we can draw from the exercise. He further highlighted that delays at regional level are among key issues hindering the provision of services as it affects cooperation between stakeholders in applying and adhering to the set rules and guidelines of the project. I, a number of deep lessons from the planning environment to execution to budgeting to project uh, handling to completion thereof that we are picking up with the exercise which leads to media budget review as to the execution rates by individual ministries on their projects. So all of these lessons should serve as a deep reservoir of knowledge in how in future or perhaps year from forward projects can be handled. Speaking at the same occasion, Acting Chief Education Planner in Oangwena, Duskan Mushabati, said there were a number of factors that have slowed progress, such as the process of acquiring materials from abroad in the middle of a pandemic. We have got issues uh, of manpower. Also, we have got problems with the current one where cheap labor is involved here. So through cheap labor is that uh, the work which are given, the higher community to do the work, and in return, the community will opt to leave the site to go to other projects where they are going to be paid higher salary. So this is one of the causing uh, challenges that we are experiencing. And moreover, the projects are about, so to say, projects are almost 160, including the one which are not funded by COVID, plus the ones which are funded by COVID. The projects are anticipated to be completed by November this year.